Escape from Tarkov has changed so much over the years, and that includes the amount of bosses that we have in the game. We're currently up to 11 bosses and 12 if you include Santa, which we probably should at this time of year. So it's quite a lot of bosses and quite a lot of maps. And in this video, we're going to be showing you exactly where to find each boss on which map. And to get started, we're going to be starting off with Tagilla. He's found on the smallest map on the game, which is Factory, and he's found all over that map. In fact, he's the one that finds you because he sprints around the map with his giant hammer looking to knock you out. The best way to kill him is with flesh ammo because his stomach and legs are exposed, but his head is covered with level 5 ammo and his torso is covered with level 6. But obviously, don't get too close, otherwise he'll get you. Next on the list we have Rishala. This man's found at Customs, he's found at the Garage, and you can also find him at the Stronghold. He tends to have 4 followers with him, all of which have the same last name, which will be Zavotsky. Rishala doesn't wear any armor, including headgear, so you're best off just shooting him in the head or just lasering him in general. He doesn't tend to be one of those bosses that has good gear. Sometimes he can have good bullets, and obviously it's always worth checking the pockets. But don't forget, this is Tarkov, and every boss will get you sometimes. That noise you hear there is the noise of a very angry man that runs around Interchange. His name's Killer, and he's actually brothers with Tagilla. And very much like his brother, he acts very aggressively in combat and will just chase you down, lob nades at you, and not stop till you're dead. As for killing killer, you're going to need some good bullets to do so if you want to go for the head or armor because they're both level 5. His legs are exposed, but his stomach is not. So personally, I think good ammo and a good weapon is the best way to do this. And when it comes to finding killer, that's no picnic either. He can be found in Ollie, he can be found in Idea, he can be found in Ultra. He can also be found underground in the dark, dark parking lot. Next up, we have one of the hardest bosses to kill in the game, not least because he has seven followers roaming around with him that all have good gear with them as well. We're, of course, talking about Gluha or Glucker, however you pronounce it. He's found on the map reserve and he can be found in any of the three buildings by the helicopter. He can be found by the train station as well as White Knight and Black Knight. And the last place he can be found is one of the underground bunkers, but not the popular underground bunker. The other one that is underground, the train station area. And when it comes to killing Gluhart, it's best to bring the big boy armor again. In my opinion, you've got seven guards to deal with as well as him, as well as being one of the roughest maps on the game reserve anyway. So it's time to get that slick out of the thick case that's been sitting there all wipe and put it on. This next man is considered easy to kill for most, but for me, I've always had trouble killing this boss, and we are talking about the Sniper Sturman. He hails from the map woods and can currently be found at the sawmill on that map. He has a couple of guards that roll with him, so you've got to keep your eye out for them, but one of the biggest problems when killing this boss is the other players all flood to this area as well, and we all have snipers. And that's the recommendation for Sturman as well. I recommend you bring your sniper with you. There's no better map to do it than woods. As for the loot, Sturman has a couple of specific items that can only be found on him. One is the key, and the other is a Red Rebel Ice Pick, which is actually extremely expensive and used to extract from certain maps. It's a melee weapon, and it does not spawn every single time, unfortunately. Next up, we have Sanitar. He's a mad doctor slash scientist, and you can find him at Shoreline. He can be found with two to three guards up at the resort, down at the pier, or at the cottages. And he doesn't tend to wear any armor, so you'll be able to kill him with basically any gun if you get good shots on him. But if you don't kill him in your first exchange, he will run away and use all the meds in his bag to heal up, as well as hit plenty of stims, so he may be even harder to kill the second time you see him. When it comes to his loot, it's probably the meds we're after here as well, because he has a lot of stims that are need for tasks that are hard to find anywhere else. On top of that, he does have the tape key quite often, and that's a very nice key for rubles. Or if you want to use it, there's some really good loot in there. Next up, we have the priest, and you can see there's no footage for this one, but I can explain it, but not as well as Trey 24K. Now, um, I'm struggling getting him to spawn in offline. So here's the priest on the wiki, and you can see he has 850 health. The maps he can be found on are Customs, Nighttime Factory, Woods, Shoreline. So that's four maps he can be found on. And here's a look at the gear that the priest carries. The nicest thing in here for me is the cultist knife is the only place you can pick up this knife. And to go with that, here are some of the weapons that the followers have. The nicest part of this loot being this Tiger One Survival Machete, the best melee on the whole entire game in my opinion. Next, we're going to be covering three bosses in one and they're known as the Goons. They can be found on Customs, Woods, Shoreline and Lighthouse and they always come as a team of three. You have Big Pipe, you have Bird Eye and you have Knight. 
And what's cool about the goons is when you're fighting them, they're in constant contact with each other. So the second you engage one of them, you engage all three. If you kill one of them, the other two are hunting you down from that moment onwards. So it's a very intense fight when you get into it and certainly my favorite boss to fight in the game at the moment. As for the loot, they have a lot of good armors that can only be found on them. And then you have the grenade launcher, which for me is probably the best item. And that is found on Big Pipe. And then we come to the final boss that is just about to enter Tarkov. Zrayachi. <laughs> I don't know if I'm saying that right. I've said it about 100 times into the mic at this point. Zrayachi. That's what we're going for. And he is a new sniper boss that is found on Lighthouse. He comes with a thermal. You can see that in the picture. And the best bolt action sniper rifle on the game. You can see here where he's found. He's found at the lighthouse because he protects the lighthouse. And I think that's the only place he'll spawn, but we'll find out. I do think he's going to be one of the hardest bosses to kill in the game simply because of where he's located on the lighthouse map. He has such a good place to protect himself with that sniper rifle. And we have to travel a long way to even get to him. So I imagine he's going to need to be sniped from this side by us. And that's it. That's all the bosses that are in EFT at the moment. Let me know in the comment section down below how much of those bosses you've managed to hunt down so far. And which one do you think is the hardest one to kill? Thanks for watching. See you next time.